Hello, I'm Cheryl Vogel, and I'm here at Valley House Gallery, standing next to a still life painting by Henry Finkelstein, who's on the line with me from his studio in Connecticut. Henry, can you join us? Happy to. Wonderful. Henry, this is a, 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 a painting that shows possessions you've had for perhaps many years. You seem to really like to know your subjects, whether it's a landscape that you're very near, that you've driven by many times or walked through. And here we have objects. Is it a mahogany chest and a chair that has a, a, similar, uh, a similar presence in many of your still life paintings? And there's a plant, there's a mirror, and there's all kinds of, of marks through the painting that are your reference points that are charcoal. And you leave, you, you let us envision where you started with the painting. So Henry, can you first show us the chair? Oh, okay. <laughs> <I'm sitting> there. <laughs> there it is. Um, it's an old, uh, it's not a real empire chair. It's a reproduction that my grandmother actually gave us when I was a kid. And I drew it many, many times when I was a kid. It looked like an aim to me. I just love the curves of it. So I still do. I uh, put it in paintings often. I have a set of four, but the others are completely falling apart. I turn the screen and show you. But, well, so. it's, a, it's a wonderful motif in the foreground of a painting to kind of lead us into layers of the painting. And in the back, you have a mirror. Yes, I, I like to have a mirror in back of the still life because it allows the space to, you could say go back into the mirror, but for me in a way, come forward. Um, often one might have a, just a tone, a wall. Actually, the other painting in the show has a, a blue cloth behind everything, which has a pattern. Of, but I, I like to have a mirror uh, also sort of complicate the space a little bit, reach out into the room a little bit. Well, it, the painting has the same wonderful luscious color that we see in your landscapes, so full of life. And, and uh, when, when you're starting a painting like this, are you very carefully manipulating where the objects will be? Yes, uh, it's all about designing a kind of architecture to the thing. Um, placement spaces between things. Uh, and actually, speaking of architecture, I don't know if it reads, but the in back of the bowl of uh, yellow plums, oh, there, yeah. uh -huh. yeah, there, there are two little white plaster things that are casts of uh, dolphins. And uh, they're just something I found somewhere once. Might have found them in the school where I teach and decided I should have them. Um, they are like, they re they're like a fountain that's in Aix-en-Provence called Fontaine de Quatre Dauphins, um, a fountain with four dolphins in it. And they, I like the way they twist and turn. And uh, in this setup, I, as always, I like the reflection of the thing in the mirror, the gray compared to the comparing. As far as comparing colors, I guess I'm always, um, in this one, I was interested in comparing one red to another. You've got a red of the mahogany uh, bureau, as you say, a vivid red of the pomegranate, compared to a different vivid red of the cyclamen, compared to pinks, pink on the front of the table, compared a little bit, hopefully different, to the pink and back in the mirror, compared and to the red orange, red orange earth color of the mirror frame, and then finally the yellow, orange, uh, plums. Thank you, Henry. Thank you for being with us. And we'll bring you other paintings from Henry Finkelstein's exhibition at Valley House as soon as we have recorded them. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. It's fun. <laughs>